Ow! No, 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 no! And as you can see, Beth is destroying her plants once again. Today's video is going to be quite entertaining. I've got a few things I have to do. Just, you know, casual looking after animal stuff. I've got to go to the dump. I've got to obviously fix that up because Beth is deciding to just... Okay, I, I'm not doing very well at talking and unboxing this. But basically this was sent to me a couple months ago from Snake Professionals. I'm going to be showing you what I do every day here to look after the snakes because looking after animals is like a 24-7 job. You don't really have a break from it. And even when you're tired or whatever, you still got to look after the animals. So we're going to the dump to dump rat sawdust because we don't want the rats to be dirty. Obviously, got to keep them clean. Then there's a few things I need to get for this reptile room because it's a bit of a mess right now. And as you can see, these cages that I built, yeah, I got to finish those up. And as you can see, there's quite a few projects in here that I need to film and get up to you guys. Okay, well. I'm really stoked about this. Let's get a knife. This over here is some snake tubes. Some really, really cool snake tubes. Obviously, I've got more tubes over here. These are some long tubes for tubing venomous snakes because you don't really want to neck them. It just keeps you safe. Oh, these are great quality though. Wow, that is awesome. And some really nice small ones. So basically, when you have little snakes, you don't want to hold it and try to get their head in from there as you would do with a long one like this because obviously your hand's very close. So maybe you pin it and put the head through then and then can safely work with these animals. You can see there, they are all the sizes you may need and this is really great quality. I've worked with some other ones that are like cheap thin plastic that almost crinkles in your hand and that's not so good. This is super strong. I mean, the walls of these are probably 1.5 millimeters thick. So it's thick and strong. I'm super stoked. Thanks guys. And there's also a hook stick in here. As you know, Bryce likes hook sticks. So I'm going to test out this three piece hook stick over here. I can also use it as a nice short little two piece because you know, I like short hook sticks. And there we go. Let's get to doing everything. Woo! So just cleaning up the floor, sweeping it here because when you clean inside you mess a lot of clean sawdust. So I've got to clean that out. Then I'll mop this floor, keep it all nice and sanitary. This is the rat breeding room here. And yeah, let's go to the dump now. We sh oh no. We shall see you there. Okay, so we are on our way to the dump. This is the weekly thing that I have to do to dump all the sawdust or the old bedding for the rats. As you can see, I've got quite a few rats because I have quite a few snakes. And yeah, let's go dump. The wind is not cooperating with my brother. It's blowing straight into his face. Sorry, John. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so the bucky stopped <laughs> going at this bump in the middle of the road, in the middle of nowhere, and it's not switching on. So last time what that was, was a bit of corrosion on the battery. But honestly, I have no clue what I'm doing here. I don't know anything about cars, but yeah, we'll find a way to get home, I guess. Interesting part of <laughs> The story that was not scripted. Oh, work car! Okay, so hot day here in Africa. As you can see, I'm glowing. We tried to push the bucky. Well, in South Africa, we call these trucks buckies. Um, it's just what we call them, basically. My brother is on his way home right now. He is actually running home, so this may take a while. We didn't bring our phones. He brought his phone. It is dead, so there's no one. You can't call anyone. And... We don't know anything about cars, so we don't know what to do. We tried to push start it, didn't work. That's why I'm extremely exhausted right now. My legs are burning. I don't know what's gonna happen. This video has taken a little bit of a turn. So <laughs> well, I've been waiting a while. I don't know what to do. Just gotta carry on waiting. Update, I'm no longer being towed again. Um, they just went home to get the jumper leads because we left them at home. 
shouldn't take too long. Uh, seems like it's the battery. We try to jump start it now and it just wasn't getting there. It was kind of going, but it just didn't start. So I think I need to charge it with the battery and then hopefully that'll work. Sorry, this is a weird, 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 weird. Righteous Reptiles, well not Righteous Reptiles, weird YouTube video. So, we made it home. Eventful and a half day. Yesterday was super interesting. Now I have to do all the chores today that I was supposed to do yesterday. The car's still not working, but besides that, I bought some Dubia Roaches because I ran out. And wow, they're expensive. They're like $6 for like 10 of them. It's madness. I used to breed my own, so I would have like hundreds if not thousands of these little guys she needs a new plant in her enclosure i've got that and i need to take her out we can also test out that hook stick this girl over here has decided to put soil yes yeah, soil she has dug up her plants and put soil inside of her water bowl don't ask me why they do that that's what snakes do and she whoa i just got a fright there because she struck at me she's not very happy as you can hear she's hissing at me right now Okay, let's get on with that. So let's try use this long, long hook stick on this tiny little snake. I've got my bucket over here to put the little cobra in. She is a feisty snake. So the easiest way to do this is open the glass and literally just coax her in to the bucket over here. And then I don't have to tail or touch her because as I said multiple times, her tail is very close to the bitey end of the cobra. Hey girl. You can see there, Woo! <laughs> you see she does, this girl chases me also, uh uh, come on, don't go away, don't go away, come on, there we go, just like that, one, two, three, we have got a tree of cobras, not really a tree. I don't know why I'm talking rubbish. I'm in a good mood despite everything that's happening. This over here is a wonderful speck worm. Um, it's an awesome plant. It's a succulent that I can actually eat. Edible, but and you can put it in salads and stuff, but it doesn't taste good in my opinion. It leaves like this, that kind of taste in your mouth. So I'm gonna give it to the cobra instead because I think she will enjoy a live plant in her enclosure seems that the last one was not an evergreen. Most of our indigenous plants in the country, if not all, are actually evergreen. So that, that'll suit this enclosure perfectly. Hey! So one thing you've got to be very cautious about is when you lift the snakes up, remember your legs are right here, so don't drop the snakes on you. So maybe move back a bit and lean over the snake. That's why I like kneeling down. Oh, she pooped. It smells like a funny, weird curry. Hey. She's grown so much, though. Imagine when she's like full size and super grumpy, so that'll be quite fun, actually, because then I can at least tail her and yeah. There you go. Look how big she's gotten. She stinks. Her hat, her. But he's full of her little poop. Boo! Go inside there. I wish I could have like 3D scent or whatever and send you the smell that she pooped all over my hand because it's not pleasant but it's something interesting to experience about snake keeping I guess. And the world of reptiles. Just wipe it on your shirt because you always gotta smell like cobra poop. If you can, remember to try and clean and disinfect all your tools before you use it on other animals. I guess we shall just use my shirt because that's the most biosecure thing here, I guess, not really. As you can see, a very grumpy little snake. Super quick too. More cobra poop on my hand. Can you even see that? It's like all this white stuff. So far, I'm really loving this hook stick. It's really good. And I'm loving this snake. Hey, Octavia, aren't you stunning? If, you're, if I put it on the ground here, you can see how quick they can be. Okay, she's actually pretty chilled right now. Hey, what do you want? No, don't climb the hook. 
That's why you always got to watch out. Put it inside there. And closed. Closed. Secure. And done. Let's do something interesting. So what I'm going to do now is tip the tub or bucket towards myself. And then maybe you can see snake coming out. Just moving slowly because I can see she, her body language wants to fling around towards me. Whoa. Did you see a bite dog there, crazy snake? Let's get you inside your... Go, go. No, in your home. No issues whatsoever with climbing, hey? As you can imagine, it's time for Gary to eat some food. Let's see her reaction. Here we go, come on. Whoa! That was a lot quicker than I thought it would be. I was trying to get her to come out a little bit more, but yeah, a bit slow there, Bryce. Anacondas are such strange snakes, they'll just like wrap around anything and they, their movement is unlike other snakes I've worked with before, it's incredible, I absolutely love it. There we go girl, hope you enjoy, please don't let go and bite me. So now what we'll do is show you a bit of the leopard gecko feeding I guess. She's a very tame girl and super well trained, I can call her out for food and she'll come out of her enclosure and get some nibbles so she knows what food is and she loves food let's try get some more dubia roaches one more one more food food no don't bite the tongs food there we go good girl how cute is that just love her ow no 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 ow <laughs> it's not that sore but seriously no no leave my finger thank you thank you Maybe you're still hungry. Okay, one more. Food. Yeah, that one you can eat. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now no more. No more for today. Go and digest that. Swallow nicely, swallow. And with closing that tub of dubia roaches, I guess I gotta close off with this video. Thanks guys for watching, I really appreciate it. Remember to go out to learn, explore, inspire. Cheers. Still so much more to do.